Well, tonight we have the facts on a proposal to cut money from the Portland Police Bureau's budget. Commissioner Steve Novick is specifically targeting the Bureau's Drug and Vice Division. Novick says the money could be better spent elsewhere. City leaders started debating that idea today, so we sent Chris Woodard over to ask City Hall some tough questions about whether this is really a smart idea. Yeah, and this conversation, just one of many now going on inside City Hall walls as this whole budget process gets rolling. But make no mistake about it, this cut would be an unusual and a controversial one. You take one drug dealer out, another one takes his place. It's, I wish it weren't the case. Commissioner Steve Novick says there are better places for the city to spend its cash. I think that the evidence of the past 40 years is that chasing drug dealers just because they are drug dealers doesn't have much of an impact. His idea, cut down the $4 million budget of the Drugs and Vice Unit, got everyone's attention at a budget meeting today. The capacity in the Drugs and Vice Division has been damaged because of budget cuts in the past. We're a shell of what we were 10 years ago. We were there, and after hearing the police chief talk about important bus, how going after mid and high level dealers has a trickle down effect, and how cutting this unit in half would make a bad drug problem worse, I went straight to Commissioner Novick. Do you think this would be a responsible cut? I think it would be responsible. I think that when you have a choice between making investments that we know save lives, like making dangerous intersections more safe, and making an investment like this, which 40 years of evidence shows is not really having an impact, then you invest in the measure that the evidence shows actually works. Novick wants to take half the unit's budget, the half he sees as being spent on going after drug dealers not connected to other violent crimes, and use that money for things like emergency preparedness and intersection safety improvements. I asked the chief, would that create a danger to the community? I don't, I don't know that I want to uh, speak on how, what the potential impacts of that would be. I also want to note that we're also talking about a budget process here where the majority of the requests commissioners are hearing are from departments who want more money because there is actually a little bit of extra money on hand this time around. Nevertheless, Novick says he still sees this as a worthy cut. He hopes the mayor will propose the cut. The mayor is set to release his budget later this month. Live downtown, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.